now we are going to see about the PV command PV is a tool which is used for monitoring the process while copying or moving the data it is mainly used in ongoing file operations this command is used to show the, the time elapsed and the information like uh, data transferred and the remaining time that remaining times takes to complete and also the transfer bit rate per seconds using this command we can create a zip file we can copy a file and we can create tar file and so many things now let me see some examples before that first let me install pv package so that m install pv this is only for CentOS and Red Hat packages for other Linux distributions the command where is that is the m command where is I am installing the PV tool now the installation is completed and the first command I am going to run is that is copying a file now I am going to copy the Ubuntu ISO file inside the image file for that PV the source file name and the greater than symbol and the image file and the target file name I am giving Ubuntu server 64.iso I'm giving enter you can see the file is copying it shows the copying progress and this is the total time taken to copy and this is the bits per second transfer and this is the total size transfer and this shows the percentage of completion so you can check here you can see here the file from the desktop is copied inside the image file the next command is we are creating a zip file using the pv for that pv and the source file name and then pipe symbol space zip space greater than and the destination location zip I am giving the destination file name as Ubuntu 15 sorry don't give spaces Ubuntu 15.10.zip don't forget to mention zip at the end of the file and give enter so here you can see the process is going on as said previous this is the total size and the megabits per second transfer the total time and this is the estimated time to be completed the next command is to count number of lines bytes and words in a file for that pv space hyphen p Paste the file name and space pipe and WC. In the password file, there is 43 lines and the size is 69 bytes and it contains 2122 words. 
and this shows the process completion the next command is using the pv tool with the tar command that is it shows the processing of tar that is tar hyphen cf and hyphen space zip this is the source location and space pipe space open brace and now we are using the pv command pv space hyphen p space hyphen hyphen timer and space hyphen hyphen rate and space hyphen hyphen bytes and space greater than symbol the destination location name tar file dot tg set and the close brace now you can see the process is going on as said previous this shows the size and this is the time taken to complete the process and this is this section is for the bit rate transfer per second now you can see the tar file created the next command we are going to see is the same tar file now we are going to use a dialog progress bar which it shows the progress of the process before the execution of the command let me install the dialog package and install dialog now the installation completed now let me run the command the command is star space iphone cvf sorry c setter set for gzip so c set f space iphone space zip the source location and pipe symbol space open brace of the pv command pv space iphone and greater than gc and space 2 and greater than and 1 space pipe symbol and now we are giving the details about the dialog package we install in dialog space hyphen hyphen gotch space double quotes progress space and 10 80 now this gauge so shows the graphical representation of the process going on and the progress mentioned inside the double quotes is displayed on the gauge and 10 is for height and 80 is for width so when we execute this command you can see the progress as we mentioned inside the cards and the gauge shows the graphical representation of the process running and after the completion it automatically exits now the process completed you can check here you can list here the created files you can see here gzip which we created 
and you can use more options like coloring in dialog dialog tool for more options refer man page thank you